Hey, what's up nerds? Keon here with Nerd or Dine. Today I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily set up your stream alerts in OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS using Stream Elements. So with our alert pack downloaded and unzipped, we're going to go into the Stream Elements folder, double click the link for your preferred platform of streaming, and that will open up a browser so we can start the import process. Which is basically, it automatically imports itself into Stream Elements. It couldn't be any more simple. Inside the browser, Stream Elements will automatically add a new overlay to your existing list. Now that that's done, we need to add this overlay into OBS Studio. So what you need to do is grab the URL from Stream Elements by hitting the three dots on the overlay we just created and pressing Copy URL. Then head over to OBS Studio and add a browser source and paste in the URL, then hit OK. And once it's loaded in, we can test to see how everything looks. To then test your alerts, you need to go back into the Stream Elements window and click Edit on the overlay. Inside of here, there will be a bar at the bottom of the screen that says Emulate with a little bell icon. Click the bell icon and select any of the alerts you'd like to see demonstrated. It should pop up in both the browser and your OBS preview window. Now from the test, what we can see is the alert doesn't really fit. Parts of it are getting cut off and that's not really what we want to see. So what we can do is go back into the browser source inside of OBS Studio and adjust our width and height dimensions here. Hit OK, and now you can see the alert in all of its glory. These dimensions might be different for every alert pack that we have, so be sure to refer to the setup guide and make sure you've got the optimum width and height that you need. Usually I would say it's a pretty safe bet to go with 1920 by 1080. That's the average canvas size for Stream Elements and OBS Studio. Let's give this one more test before moving on. Looks good to me. So, with OBS Studio covered, let's take a look at Streamlabs OBS. So all we need to do in Streamlabs OBS is go into it, hit the plus here, and add a browser source. Once that's added in, we'll add in the alert URL, and then we can test the alerts. Testing follows and subscriptions should work through Streamlabs OBS, but if you're gonna wanna test the donation alerts, you're gonna have to emulate it through Stream Elements inside that browser. So let's go ahead and test the subscription and we'll see it coming through. But just like the test we had in OBS Studio, parts are still being cut off. So to fix that, we'll go ahead and increase the width and height, send through another test, and we can see that everything is coming through clear. And that about covers everything you need to know about importing alerts from Nerd or Die. If you're using XSplit, you'll be able to add a browser source and paste in the URL widget just like you did in OBS Studio. If you run into any trouble while setting up or have any questions, feel free to join our Discord server, link in the description, where we have a help section, or send us a message through our website. Once again, just wanted to say thanks for watching, hope you learned something new. I've been Keon with Nerd or Die, and I'll see you guys in the next one.